Hello everyone, my name is Nikki, welcome to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be trying some embroidery. What you'll need is a sweatshirt, some scissors, white acrylic paint, some embroidery thread, also an embroidery hoop, a stencil with your desired image on it, a toothbrush and a needle. To begin, I decided to draw out the stencil, the image that I'll be embroidering on my sweatshirt beforehand. This is an anatomical heart, so I'm pinning that to the area I will be embroidering this on, on my sweatshirt. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a toothbrush and some white acrylic paint, and then scrub the white acrylic paint on top of the stencil, because what I did, I poked holes in the stencil with a needle, so the white acrylic paint will then go through onto the sweatshirt. It's the exact same method as my painting denim jacket DIYs that you can see in further detail. It's quite simple but is a completely foolproof and super easy method. So as you can see that's a stencil right there. Next I'm preparing the embroidery thread that I'll be using. I decided to use this really cool ombre thread. It goes from a red to a bubblegum pink and it's a very interesting color combo. I'm now just measuring them all out to the same size and then I'm going to be separating each thread into smaller sections because I think that works best with this type of embroidery. Also I decided to use this sort of thread so it will just give an extra oomph and a little bit more depth and detail to the image I will be embroidering. So what I'll be doing, I will be using a simple back stitch and here is just a little demonstration so you guys can get the idea. What you do, you poke the needle through behind the fabric, poke it through, pull it out and then just go back on yourself. It's quite self-explanatory and I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Again, it's quite simplistic and you'll definitely get the hang of it very quickly once you get into the rhythm of it. I do have to say, this is so therapeutic and I'm sure that you guys will enjoy it if you try it at home too. I do have to say, it is incredibly hilarious that my next biology lesson, we're going to be doing a heart dissection, so I know what I'm going to be wearing. Right, now I'm beginning the embroidery and following the pattern using a simple back stitch. The pattern here is quite complex, so do try and be as neat and accurate as possible when creating it yourself. Also make sure as you go along that you keep the back of the embroidery as tidy as you can and not to the end of every thread well once you've finished each strand. It's very important to keep up with that. But yes, I do have to say that this whole process is very self-explanatory and right now I'm just speeding up some of the footage of me creating this. So you guys can sit back and relax watch and I hope you guys enjoy. This sweatshirt of mine I have had for a long time and I found it just became a little bit old and boring so I decided to customize it, spice it up a little bit and this design really just brought a little bit more color and life into the piece. I enjoy customizing clothes so much because it can add elements of your personality, things that you like and you can make things look perfect and exactly how you want them to be. Also I do have to say just sitting down on an evening watching a movie and doing some embroidery is incredibly fun and I definitely recommend you guys try it if you're into creative outlets. I really like to know if you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out on my channel so do of course leave your opinions and everything down below in the comments. So let's get this conversation going because your guys opinions matter the most to me. As I progressed with the embroidery, I noticed how with the ombre thread, with each different section of the heart and each like vein or artery, I noticed how the colour of the thread changed and it was as if I could like distinguish between different parts of the heart. And I thought that that actually worked out very nicely. And to be honest, having this difference in colour added a lot of depth into the design and to be honest I think it really improved the look instead of using one block colour. So I do have to say it is incredibly fun and interesting to experiment with different types of things that you may not necessarily think straight away to try. I think that this heart design is quite funky and spooky to be honest, a perfect way to start October and the Halloween spooky season. Also if you're into spooky things you might want to hang around my channel for a bit because I'm doing a Halloween week from Monday the 8th of October to Friday the 12th of October. I'll be posting one video every single day doing a different Halloween SFX makeup tutorial. I know you guys really enjoyed that last year so I decided to do another one this year so I hope you guys will enjoy that 
And if you want to see more, you can subscribe and press the bell to receive notifications. On the theme of Halloween, comment down below what your plans are. Are you going to be going out? Are you going to be staying in, having a fright night or a party? And if you're going to be going out or having a party, what are you going to be dressing as? I really love to ask these sort of questions and like hear what you guys are into, what you're going to be doing. It's so interesting. I know last night I stayed in and I put on a great show for all the kids and the trick-or-treaters with like the lights in the windows and like pumpkin carvings and everything. It was so fun and I dressed as a skeleton. Honestly, that was such a great night and I'm going to be doing the same thing again this year. However, just amp it up a little bit. It was so fun and a lot of people loved it, but a couple kids got a little bit scared. That was so sad, but everybody was dressed so nicely. It was incredibly cute and I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite events in the year because I love SFX makeup, creating things, and it's just a great time for creativity to sort of express yourself, have fun in like dressing or doing all these sort of different makeups or like even making costumes. I was thinking of making an Oogie Boogie costume from The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's something I'd like to work on in the future. And yeah, so do comment down below what your plans are and what you're going to be dressing as or doing this Halloween. Gosh, I just realized I said last night instead of last year. Yeah, I meant last year. But I just want to point out that this actually took me a few days. So what I'd do, I'd spend like an hour or two every evening working on this for maybe like three days or four days. I can't remember how long. But yeah, just so you guys know, this did take a while and it's important to take your time, especially with things where you need to be precise like this. It's important that you don't rush anything, otherwise you might make some mistakes. And again, it's very fun to take your time and enjoy what you're making. While I was making this, my mom and I, we sat and watched Netflix series Stranger Things. I love the series so much and I'm incredibly excited for season three. If there are any series that you guys are watching and you really like, please do recommend me some because every time I'm making one of these types of videos, I'm always watching or listening to something in the background. It's incredibly fun just to have some background noise or something else going on. So yeah, leave your comments and recommendations in the comments below. Okay, now I'm going to leave you guys here and I'll speak to you again at the end of the video. So please do sit back, relax and enjoy the rest. So I will see you in a little bit.
would you look at that as if by magic the heart is finished. I'm incredibly happy with how this turned out and enjoyed making this video so much. If you guys enjoy this sort of content, please do comment that down below and give this video a thumbs up. So I will see you guys soon in the next one. Have a great day and that's it from me. Bye bye.